Hello guys and welcome back. It's your girl Dusty. Whoa. It's your girl Joe Dusty. <laughs> but you know, just gonna be Dusty for short, you know. It's your girl Dusty. So, um I was watching something and I heard a comment, you know. And it was about women and just women being the strong black woman and you know Fantasia did make her little comments and being strong in a black woman and is it a bad thing and or can it be a bad thing I'm gonna say yes it can be a bad thing <laughs> um so let me back this up a little bit Ooh, no now you see my my secret my secret my secret all right um so I'm gonna say yeah it can be a bad thing like it definitely can be a bad thing that some a woman is too strong and I think it comes from the idea of being too strong is not necessarily being too strong it's about being hurt so when a woman is too strong to take any love from a guy or um, doesn't believe it or doesn't want to give up any work like ownership and let the guy lead it's not because she's too strong it's because she is too hurt she is just too hurt to sit there and let somebody else lead and she decides that you know what i can do this by myself i don't need to take direction from someone that might not be there forever and that is pain that is hurt that is not going to be about strength and somebody being too strong and somebody being too i could do battle by myself you can't tell me nothing it's about hurt and when you choose because it's always a choice. Being in a relationship is always a choice. When you choose someone that has been hurt, you understand that it is now a little bit harder. And it's going to be a little bit harder. You cannot just tell somebody that's been hurt, it was killing me because I feel like one eyebrow is like longer than the other right here. Like this one's smaller than this one. But I think it's because I like drag my concealer out a little bit more on one eyebrow. Ugh, whatever. So when you choose somebody, I'm sorry for doing the whole aside, but um, when you choose somebody that has been hurt, you need to understand that sometimes there are things that come with being hurt and it's going to take a while. I don't think there's any woman on this earth that is just so stubborn that it's just like it was ingrained from them from the start and they always like, I could do bad by myself. It was either they was hurt or they saw their mom get hurt, someone they love get hurt, and they decided that it wouldn't be them. And that is the barrier you have to work through in order to love somebody that has been hurt and that has been damaged. These people are not strong because they want to be strong. They're, these women are not strong because they want to be strong. They're strong because they feel like they have to be strong. So it's about making them feel safe. You can't just tell somebody, oh, you need to stop doing it, and they're going to do it. Like, it's not it's not going to happen. Like, when has anybody ever just listened? That's like, parenting made easy. If you could just be like, stop, and people stopped. When has that ever happened? Right. Um. So, I want to have a conversation about this. If you guys could just please comment down below. Let me know what you think. Did you agree with her comments about, like, you know, sometimes women have to sit down and let a man be a man and blah, blah, blah. Like, I, did you agree with that? And you know what? I don't find anything wrong with what she said. It's just you need to take into account also that this is why women do it. And it's not because they are afraid of a man taking um, control. It's because they're hurt. And that's just it. It's just hurt. And they won't they want to uproot their life and get used to depending on somebody for something and now that person gone and there's no one to depend on no more and that's just what it is like and i've been that person i feel like i've been that person in some of my relationships where i need to be in control of everything and you know my boyfriend now he he be a little fed up with me because i'll be like mm, and this is what we doing and this is what we doing this we're doing and you got a daughter that's great and this is what she doing and that's what we doing and that and i try to micromanage everything and he just be like i'm grown and then that's when I say I'm technically older than you, so, you know, but it's not going to cause you to be single for the rest of your life. It's not going to cause you to stop you from finding a good man, blah, 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 blah,
you need to find the right person for you and that's just it and you know if that's somebody that's gonna let you take the lead but trust me people that are always in the lead and always in control what they want more than anything is a damn break they want things to work out perfectly and them not having to lift a finger they want to be able to trust someone so much that i know that when you got it you got it and that's just what it is so it's just gonna take a little love a little proven a little trust and y'all will be fine. Don't let no person tell you you're about to be single forever because you got some trust issues and you've been hurt before. Uh -uh, just know there's somebody for everybody. Thanks, boo. All right, thank you guys for watching. You can comment down below and tell me what you think. And you guys will see me, your girl. You'll just see you a little bit later. Bye, guys.